Frauen, aufstehen! Los geht's, raus aus dem Bett! This morning I feel so tired. Aufstehen, komm schon, raus aus dem Bett! Komm, raus aus dem Bett! I was a little confused. They got me straight out of bed. I didn't even wait at all. I was barely wearing anything. No, Fredits, come on! Raus! Go, 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 go! I don't speak German. I don't know where I am. I don't know how to feel. Honestly, it sounded like my mom waking me up, so it was fine. It also sounded a little bit like my alarm. This is how I normally wake up. With a drill sergeant. <laughs> I feel like I couldn't wake up any other way, to be honest, because I'm kind of a heavy sleeper. Aufstehen! Los geht's! Raus aus dem Betten! Verstanden? No. Okay! I was pretty lucky that I was already awake. Like, I saw the, them coming down, like the lights and stuff. And I was sitting there, I was like, oh shit what is happening and then there was like a random dude looking in my in my room and I was like uh, are we getting robbed or what is happening? Feierabend mit schlafen! Do you know what saying? <laughs> no, I'm saying? Don't sleep. That's what you're saying. It's like, like you're alarmed. It's so it's fine. Morning contestants! You guys are up nice, bright, and early. I see you met Vasily. How'd they do? Fine. Good, because we're going on a little adventure today. Tova, you look really ready. I thought I was in a nightmare. Well, it can't be. No, it isn't. We're gonna have fun, guys. <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> you got five minutes to get your crap. Go! Run! Come on, Tova! Pick up your stuff! What are you doing? Huh? You think you have time to wait around? No fashion! Um, I was scared. I mean, the sounds were really bad. Grab your shoes, tie up, Tasha. Come on, Tasha, what are you doing? Contacts, really? Schneller, 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 schneller. What are the boys doing? I hope you got pants on, because I'm coming in. Put your shoes on. I think his pants are off, I'm not gonna go in there. Hustle, put them G2 sweatpants on that could be found in the G2 store. <laughs> really, shoes on before your pants? Give a little bit of effort. Uh, today I think we have a woodland challenge. I'm guessing my woodland buff might come in handy today. It must be probably like an obstacle course or something super muddy, I think. I think we're getting dirty. I'm fine with it. I kind of love it. I don't like being waking up early. Yeah, I am ready for today. Like, I'm actually literally excited because like, it seems like we're doing like a very, very cool uh, military style thing. I don't know, maybe it's getting muddy, maybe it's getting dirty. Excited for what we have to do, but I don't do too well in the cold and unfortunately, I have a feeling it's gonna be cold today. Probably gonna be some something physical, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> if it's if it's real army training, though, they phys they do test you physically and mentally. Yeah. I've always yeah. wanted to do one of those. To be well, honest. you're from a military family, right? Yeah. I am so ready. I actually I look really dead right now, but I'm kind of excited on the inside. Dead on the outside, excited on the inside. Do yeah. you think someone's gonna get eliminated in the first one? Oh yeah, maybe they're eliminating one in the first challenge, and one in the one second challenge. The other I hope not. I think it will be fun. Probably, maybe not, but <laughs> maybe, hopefully. <laughs> okay, come close, 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 close! Laufen! Yo, yo, yo! Lost, lost, lost! Hier, links! Los, lauf! It's about time you showed up. Allow me to introduce to you today's jury. We have the second strongest man of the LEC, Caster Medic. Nice to meet you all. Again. Again. Your drill sergeant for the day, Vasily. Hello. The G2 Samurai. 
Welcome. An official good morning to you all. Glad to see you all out here. For today's challenge, we're going to be breaking up into teams of two. So Josh, as the winner of the last challenge, you get to choose who your teammate is. I'm gonna take Tasha. Tasha! Yeah. Josh picked me. That was so surprising. I was so happy though, because I feel like me and Josh have pretty good communication. I was so excited that he picked me. I picked Tasha as my teammate because uh, I think she has a, quite a strong mental. Uh, I've talked to her a bit, you know, off camera, just talking about like emotions and stuff, and she seems very strong-minded. I think that comes in very, very handy when it comes to team challenge. Also, she does have some military background in her family, and I thought that might come in handy in the challenges as we didn't quite know what we were gonna do. I kind of think he was going to pick Tasha because I consider myself as a tough rival. So if you want to kick someone out, you should kick him before you get to the finals. Then we're gonna move on to our first challenge of the day. Actually, before we do that, I think you guys need to get a little warmed up first. So Vasily. Als erstes Kniebeugen. Los geht's. Den Arsch runter. Arbeiten, arbeiten. Faster, get down there. Los geht's, box. box. Think about who you're gonna hit. Think about who you're gonna hit. Who is it, who is it? Gib Gas, keine Müdigkeit vertäuschen. We were doing burpees and now I cannot move my arms because that sergeant was screaming. I don't know what he was screaming really. I, I mean, I don't know German, but those words sounded really mean words. The drill instructor was a little scary. I wasn't sure if he was saying nice things to us or um, not so nice things to us. And I'm not gonna lie, he kind of reminded me of my mom when she got mad at me. So I did my best to <laughs> keep up with everything and keep up with the exercises. Next Übung, push-ups. Here, Liegestütze. Liegestütze, los geht's, Steve. Chest on the grass. Genau. Mehr, mehr, noch mehr. Come on, come on. Keep all this much. Oh yeah, the drill instructor was, it was actually very funny because no one else could understand German ex except for me. And he was actually saying super nice things. He was like, you're doing so good, you're doing great, you're strong. And everybody else thought that he would like do like the classic drill instructor things that I tell you, mostly very aggressive things. Even though you don't know what he said, it's kind of, it kind of motivates you as well. Oh. All right, oh. that's enough. Josh almost collapsed. I was kind of scared. I was really scared for him. I, I was hoping that he was okay. I was trying to do my best to like encourage him and I was just checking. I'm like, okay, are you all right? The drill sergeant really pushed up pretty hard. As you can tell, my voice is pretty screwed from that. I ran as quick as I could, just wanting to make sure that I was doing my best working as hard as I could, pushing myself to the absolute max. Unfortunately, I do have a condition that means I am more prone to passing out, and I almost did pass out. Uh, I pushed myself extremely hard, but I mean, this is a competition. You know, I'm gonna put myself on the line for this, and I'm just gonna do what, do what it takes. Now that you guys are all warmed up, I think it's time to start our first challenge. to the Woodland Challenge. For this challenge, our contestants will be divided into pairs of two and will face our obstacle course, the Convergence. Now, we don't want to make it too easy on them, so for this challenge, they will be tied together at the ankle. Now, not only do you need to be quick in this course, but you also need to perform each obstacle correctly. Otherwise, you'll face a penalty. Remember, the fastest team will receive an advantage in the next challenge. Team Tova Jack, you ready? Yeah. Team Josh Tasha, you ready? Um, and going into the obstacle course and then the other challenges, I was a little nervous that he might pass out on me again, but I knew that whatever happened, that I would just do my best to encourage him and keep us both going. I would have just picked him up and carried him on my back, which as little old me, I don't know how that would look, but it would have happened. <laughs> then on your marks, get set. Let's go. Okay, 
here at the first oh, challenge. Go. Now they have to go under. under. Looks like Josh and Tasha are in the lead. Just, just. We had a hard time at first because we saw Josh and Tasha running really fast. They were really ahead of us. We had a good start, we had a good start, and then all of a sudden Tova and Jack, they just passed us. But then we said like, let's just run. Oh, Tova and Jack are catching up! Tova and Jack, Tova are, catching Jack up. are catching up! On the inside! Oh, it's an under, it's an under! Under they go, <laughs> under they go! Here we go! Oh, oh it's oh, neck and neck! Over the obstacle. It's absolute neck and neck, they have to be the careful! The speed from Tova and Jack is incredible! Precision is everything here! At the beginning we decided that uh, we're going to just start off by pacing ourselves so we can get the rhythm. We were using the terms uh, tied and off, so if we were tied, it would be moving our tied foot. If we were off, it was the foot that was off. Steps, 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 steps. steps. Here we now go. We're on to the next the obstacle. The final straight of Lee. Here we go. This oh. is probably our toughest. They're bounding They're through They're going to have to go. And then we made it through the passing part where you had to pass through it. And uh, I didn't even think. We dove through and we just picked ourselves back up. Dove through the next one, picked ourselves back up. You know, Tasha fell over completely. Oh, oh genius moves. So they've fallen over. Okay, they have to be careful. No injuries Getting here, Tasha goes slide. down oh, again. Josh Tell helps her up. Over. Josh helps her out, the teamwork. Oh, this is a big jump. It's it, that's the final jump. They need to there run to the, to the finish line. to the finish line. I wanted to point something out, something that I really enjoyed seeing was you fell down a couple times, but it looked like Josh just picked you right back up. Yeah, sometimes you gotta fall down and you gotta get right back up and you just gotta keep going. <laughs> what happened? I don't know how I still have my feet attached to my body. On the last part of the parkour, it kind of it got uh, stuck in the shoelace and we were 316 all over the place. So like Andrea's feet was like completely dismantled. We got so stuck with our feet, we messed up. My ankle just hurts a lot. I injured my ankle and I just was hoping that the next challenge wouldn't be that physical. Well, you guys fell short in the first challenge, but we do have the second challenge coming up. Are you ready? Yeah! yeah let's, do let's go! All right, then let's go. <sighs> For the final challenge of the day, the contestants will have to go on a treasure hunt through the woodlands. To start, each team will have to perform a battle cry and dance before the drill instructor will point them to where they have to go. Here, they'll find this path marked by a series of Making the Squad logos. Once they get to the entrance of the woodlands, there'll be a clue waiting for them. They'll then walk 200 steps, and then they can either go left or right to look for a blue marker. Once they find that, they'll have to dig to find their next clue. Next, they'll have to find the source of a whistle to meet a special friend who will guide them to the next clue. Then, they'll have to use their eyes to find this ward, where their next clue is, as well as a chest. Once they find the key to open the chest, one final clue will lead them back to base. The first team to return will be crowned the winner of this challenge. Now, before we get to that, we do have to give people their advantages. So Josh, as you chose Woodland, allow me to present to you the carousel. Oh, okay. Energy, what is that, like Red Bull? Hmm, shovel. This is a treasure hunt. Compass. All right, Josh, allow me to present you with your compass. Awesome, thank you. Well, Josh, Tasha, since you all won the first challenge, you will also get a 30 second head start at the beginning of this. I was really scared because they had a lot of advantages. It was the Woodlands uh, buff and they had the buff from the previous challenge, so I was scared. Your first task will be to perform a dance and battle cry in front of our juries. If they like it, they'll give you the heads up and tell you where to go next. On my mark, Josh, Tasha, your 30 seconds will begin. Ready, set, go! Kamate, kamate, kola. Ah, kamate, kamate, kola. Ah, upane, ah, upane, ah, upane, upane, fititera. Okay, let's get. Viel Glück! Los geht's! Los geht's! Von Kölsch ist auch mit meinem Haar. Look from Millie of the Color and one. Good one, good dig, you may pass. Do we have our 
a timer. And go. Where are you guys going? Where's our battle cry and dance? Okay. Show what you can do. Let's get it. What does it say? Which would be blue, right? Oh, there, 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 there. Okay, go, go, go. We should maybe go a little bit further. Yeah. For, look for a familiar color. So probably like blue or white or something. Oh, the back there is a blue, a blue, uh, a blue curd, but it's very far. The others didn't got it, right? Yeah. With a good dig, we good need dig. to dig. So maybe it's in here. Dig with something like this. Yeah, I'm just going with the hands. I think we were uh, at a good pace. I was good at finding stuff that were nearby and following the clues, like counting steps and stuff. I just had the eagle eyes. I was watching everything. Maybe a shovel would have come in handy, huh? I guess so. The most difficult part about the treasure hunt was trying to dig for that second clue. We spent so long digging. My nails were completely covered in dirt. I did not have any gloves on. I just dug. I was digging for my life. Oh my gosh. Roots. You got something? No. What are we even looking for? Just something that doesn't look like a forest, you know? <laughs> yeah. Oh, there it is, there it is. Oh! Yo, dude, this was oh! so hidden. Holy shit. So difficult. Okay. You need an extra hand, but it's not who you're with. It's someone you just met and might truly miss. Listen for a sound, and this person may be found. Look at that beam. Maybe it's not a person. I mean, I see something shining yeah, over there. There's something shiny over there. It's not like that one. Oh, that's a Yo, there was yo. Yo, where does it came from? Over there, there right? over there, over there. Dude. Yo, he's he's a real army man, okay? But well, we need to hurry. It's hard to see when there's no vision. When you see one of these. You can't continue your mission. Oh, it's the light we saw. The light. It's the light we saw. No. No. It's under here. Is it under there? Take the test. Let's find the key. Where the key is? Can you say? You should go check up there. I try something around the key. You found something up there? No. I don't know, it looks like very, very dangerous. Do you still have the clue? Yeah, the key to victory is opening this chest. We found the key pretty, pretty fast because like I, I thought like we were searching on the floor and on some different places. And I was thinking maybe if we don't search on the ground, we should try search up in the up in the sky. I got the key, I got the key. Okay. Okay. The next clue. Okay. Give some vision back to base. Do it now to finish it. We give that no, we have to head back. Go, go, go. Okay. We've done all of the sites around it. I just don't know like where. The light of victory. The light of victory. Congratulations. Unbelievable. Jack Tova, congratulations. You are the winners of today's challenge. Congratulations, guys. Woo! Well done. Congratulations. Take a well deep done. breath. Oh. Oh. Let's do your celebrate now. Let's get started. 
with this victory, it means that both of you are safe and you're yeah. both moving yeah. on to the grand finals. The first thing I did was move this. I don't know if I moved it on top of... Did I move this on top of something? Maybe. No, but I think it could be... Here. Oh, it is. Here, here, here. After however long, uh, we were able to find the clue, which was ne right next to where Josh ended up throwing the log in the first place, which was kind of funny. Okay, you need an extra hand, but it's not who you're with. It's someone you just met and may truly miss. This is the first sound of the person may be found. What? They left the path. They didn't, uh, they didn't finish. They didn't finish. They need to go back. All right, I was just informed by one of our referees that Jack and Tova actually have not finished. Uh, they seem to have made an error some way along the way. You two need to return there and figure out what you did wrong and re-complete the challenge. My team's not over yet. You still have the clue? No. Well, I have the clue. Good to see you. Go, go, go. Hard to see when there's no vision when you can see one of these. Oh yeah, we know what this is already. The key to victory is opening this chest. That's fine. That's easy. Sure. Finish the right here, so bring that back. Come on, Toba. You got this. Woo! I regret to inform you yeah. that you are the second team to arrive. It took so long to do it, yeah. <gasps> to give us all. Woo! However, due to a technicality, Jack and Tova had to return to the course to finish. So you two are our winners. Yes! 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 Tasha! Oh, 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 just oh, he just did a backflip! He just did a backflip, back Josh and Tasha! That's incredible. As the winners, I am very happy to tell you that both of you are safe and you guys are both moving on to the grand finals. <laughs> right, I knew I picked the right team. Let's get out of here. victory with you. <laughs> And Andrea, she had to like run pretty quickly. She, I think her uh, ankle got worse. Okay, we'll wrap it up afterwards, yeah? We'll get some bandages. Yo, like look at our, like, like look at this thing. We did some serious parkour <laughs> over there. Did you find key fast? I just opened the box. We had, that was allowed. So I opened, you didn't we have the key. You didn't have the key. No. So you oh, made the you decision. Made you that, made the you mistake. Made yeah, so that's why I don't understand. Like, okay, I don't, I don't know what they're gonna do then, because yeah. I don't think that's fair. Honestly, like, if it's my decision, I would like, I would volunteer to have you guys come first. Yo, Josh, why, why are you so perfect? We got told that we won because the other team had forgot something, but turns out we had forgotten something too. And so when we found out that, when we found out that we had made mistakes, uh, I didn't feel comfortable with the fact that we would be winning. And I didn't. I would not have felt comfortable if one of either Jack or Tova had went home. Both teams made a lot of mixed mistakes. I think the other team they forgot to search for the key and just opened the box without the key. And we kind of misunderstood that we had to go like the same way back we came here. We were like not allowed to shortcut through the forest. Yeah, missing the key was very crucial, and we kind of messed up on our part on that. Um, but thankfully the other team also had some mistakes too. At the end it was like really weird because nobody really knew who had won, who had lost, because like everybody made mistakes. It was all very confusing. Contestants, as you know, this final challenge was filled with many difficulties. Both of you completed the challenge, but both of you also made crucial mistakes. So to decide your fate, we've brought in G2's Karina. Hi all, so I've been with you from day one. We've seen you compete in a bunch of challenges, some easier, some harder for 
each one of you. And today I've seen, and I believe that the fellow jury members will agree, we saw a real passion in your eyes. We saw how much you wanted to win. And obviously things happen along the way. Uh, we've sat together, we spoke, and we decided that you all stay. You all stay until tomorrow. And tomorrow we'll see who wins. You heard it from Karina. All four of you are moving on to the grand finals, but it will be our final challenge. So all four of you really need to step it up. Congratulations to all of you. And now all of you can hurry back to the apartment because we've got a nice surprise waiting for you four. So intense. So I'm very, very happy with the final decision. I think, you know, everyone's happy this way. I'm really glad that that's the case and that they definitely deliberated there, and looked at it and saw that both teams made mistakes and it wouldn't be fair to send anybody home. That, that's what I like, I like a fair game. We're all a team and we grew together as a group so, so uh, quickly and so strong that we were, we were all very happy that nobody got eliminated and everybody has the chance to participate in the finals. Yeah, considering what happened in the confusion, considering everyone made a mistake, I think the final decision was the best decision and the fairest decision. It wouldn't be fair if someone got out. So I'm, I'm very grateful that we're all going to the finale, uh, regardless of what happened. And I'm feeling more confident and I'm feeling more ready than I have ever felt since being here. So I'm super excited. I'm pretty confident in uh, my ability to win. I've been doing pretty well in most of the challenges up till now. I've never done anything like this before and that's something I'm, I'm looking forward to. I really need the money, but at this point, I really don't care about it. Money comes and goes and these types of experience are, you cannot buy these things. As these challenges progress and progress, I slowly can feel myself growing and I can slowly feel myself being more okay with myself and just embracing every aspect of myself. Seven contestants from around the world came to Berlin for a chance to compete and win $10,000. And now we have four finalists remaining. Today, we crown one of them our champion. Well, all that's left to do is announce the winner of Making the Squad. So Carlos, 